Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. You could also say that an object with a constant velocity will continue to have that same velocity when no net force acts upon it. So, what happens when a net force is acting on the object? When there are no net forces acting on an object, it is balanced. When the forces are unbalanced, there will be acceleration. Now, what two factors does acceleration depend on? The first factor it depends on is the net force. Imagine that you are spinning a globe on a table. You are applying a net force of 10 units. Now, you are applying a net force of 20 units. Can you guess which one has more acceleration? Pause the video to find out. If you guess the net force of 20 units, you are right. The second factor that acceleration depends on is mass. Imagine that you have two stacks of books on a table. One stack of books is three pounds and the other stack of books is six pounds. Now, you are trying to move them at a constant force. Which one do you think will have more acceleration? The three pound stack or the six pound stack? If you guessed the three pound stack, you are correct. The more mass something has, the less acceleration it has. But the less mass an object has, the more acceleration it will have. This is what is explained in Newton's second law of motion, which states that the acceleration of an object is directly related to the net force and inversely related to an object's mass. You can also write it as force equals mass times acceleration. You can also rewrite the equation to get mass and acceleration. Now time for units of force. Mass is typically measured in kilograms, acceleration is one meter per second squared, and force is measured in newtons. One newton is one kilogram times one meters per second squared. If a ball is 10 kilograms and it is going at 10 meters per second squared, what is the force? The force is 100 newtons. Congratulations! You learned a little bit about Newton's second law of motion. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe!